There's two different sides to both Vincent and Clifford. On the one hand, they both believe in nature as a vital force, as the ambience which literally sustains humankind on Earth. The flip side of this is the darker elements of humanity. Neither Vincent nor Clifford was afraid of ugliness in their art. On the contrary, they saw ugliness in art as a kind of token of artistic honesty and sincerity. He really wanted to be a visual missionary. He wanted to show the downtrodden and the dispossessed. And his intention was really to do narratives about people, and that's why he spends all of his early career doing hundreds and hundreds of peasants in various different occupations. Vincent had said of his peasants that they must almost look like the earth off which they lived. And in his famous work, The Potato Eaters, Van Gogh was producing an extremely ugly and harsh portrayal of people who not just lived off the earth, but almost seemed to be made of it. That's taken up very much by Clifford Still in his art of the 1930s, where the distortions of his human beings and of the anatomy and heads itself becomes acutely grotesque, one might even say horrific. When Clifford Still had his first one-man exhibition in 1946, he was quoted in the accompanying text by Mark Rothko as saying that his art was of the earth, the damned, and of the recreated. The Van Gogh hands were extremely important because, like the eyes, they're a kind of expression, a mirror of the soul. In Clifford's work, he looks at human anatomy, he studies people's eyes and gazes. Sometimes he renders the faces completely sightless and blind, as though the damned of the earth had no vision. In other cases, he focuses on details of a human anatomy, particularly the hand. In Still's art of the 1930s, the hand becomes a kind of graphic symbol of human survival, and also when it reaches downwards, a kind of gesture of despair. It's not just that he depicted nature, the fields, and the human figure, but as he himself said on a number of occasions, machinery was very important, because machinery is the thing that enables people to live in the modern world off of nature. Van Gogh depicted in the 1880s a whole series of weavers of their looms, in which a weaver becomes a kind of dehumanized, almost robot-like figure, framed and trapped by the machinery of a loom they're working. In turn, in the mid to late 1930s, Clifford Still picked up on this motif of the figure becoming like an automaton, surrounded by all sorts of strange gadgetry and machinery, as if they were trapped by the fruits of their labour. <laughs> 